of my channel. Today we're going to be working on a 2008 Ford Expedition. We've got a squeaky noise in the back end, so I'm kind of sitting towards the back. So the noise is mostly focused around the passenger rear side. When the vehicle is loaded up, you can hear it a lot more as the suspension goes up and down. I don't know if you can hear that or not. So we climbed underneath it and uh, jumping up and down in the back of the car, I checked all of the linkages up in here, or we did all the all the linkages underneath the car, feeling them, trying to figure out where the squeaking's generating or originating from, and we're concluding that it's the the vibration is actually coming from the strut itself, and you can feel it through the spring. Just go ahead and replace the strut assemblies. Should be the original strut assembly. All right, so we have 157,000 miles on it. So we're going to jack the vehicle up, use jack stands, and we'll uh, block the wheels okay. since we're on a slight incline. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and change the uh, strut assemblies. So I have the, the vehicle blocked up with a jack and a jack stand. We also have a, uh, a block on the in front of the front wheel so that the vehicle doesn't shift on us while it's jacked up. We have the rear tire re removed and looking at the linkages real quick. So there's a couple of videos that we saw on YouTube that had, there's two main techniques that appear to be used. Uh, basically this arm has to swing down either this way or that way um, to remove the strut. And the, one of the techniques we saw was to swing it down through the front. And in order to do that, you have a number of linkages that you have to disconnect, including the uh, brake caliper, where a couple of videos online show into a pivot on this end and swing that part of the arm down by removing that bolt and this bolt. Um, and then the uh, strut assembly pulls out. So that's the technique that I'm going to use today. Still unsure if we have to remove the brake caliper. If we do, it's no big deal. <clears throat> But I'm going to start doing it without removing the brake caliper so that we can see why we have to remove the brake caliper if we do. All right, let's get started. All right, so for starters, I'm going to get a jack and I'm going to position it underneath the strut because when we remove this bolt, the strut's going to naturally want to pop down just a little bit. I have my second jack right underneath the uh, the strut and it fits just nicely. Up there tightly, so it's a 27 millimeter uh, socket for this one. We're just going to loosen it up right now. 27 millimeter on the bolt side okay. and on the nut side. Go ahead, just, just pull that trigger. Okay, it's good, it's good. All right, it's loose. All right, this one right here, we're going to do the same thing, except I'm going to do it from my end because this I don't have a deep well socket, so I'm just going to see that. All right, so it's 30 millimeter on one side and 27 millimeter on the other side. Okay, all right. This one loosened up and I've got that one loosened up. I'm going to go ahead and take this one down here off right now. Punch. All right, so uh, using a punch. And uh, using your hammer, you know, punch this bolt out. You Or just spin it out like this. <laughs> All right, that side's uh, relieved. Now we're going to. Now we're going to be doing this side. So I have pressure on the jack right here. Well, that doesn't take much. It was hand loose. All right, so now I'm going to relieve 
pressure from the jack. And take my hammer and see if I can't get this to drop down. Just like that. So it looks like we may have some room to pull this out. We'll see. My goal is to be able to keep the caliper on because I'm lazy. <laughs> so uh, we'll get these three bolts on the top done. We'll just leave one on so that it can hold itself until we're ready to pull it out and then we'll take the final one out. All right, so the top ones, uh, 15 millimeter open and closed end wrench. They're, they're not tight at all. And the space is a little bit tight. I've seen a lot worse. There's one in the back that's the hardest to get to, but anyways, just use your open end, closed end wrench. Get these loosened up. Leave one on, and I'll be right back. So have patience while you're doing this, because these are lock nuts, which are good. But if you know lock nuts, they just don't spin right off. And there's not room for a ratchet. So if you have a ratchet wrench, that's perfect. But in my case, I don't have a 15 millimeter ratchet wrench. So I'm just gonna take the time to do this. I'll be right back. All right, so we're down to the last nut. So I'll just uh, hold it up with one hand and take that final. Well, still gotta use the wrench because it's a lock nut. Take that final nut off while I'm holding it up because it's just gonna drop otherwise. All right, so final nuts off. Now's the moment of truth. Can we wiggle this out without pulling the caliper? Guess what? No problemo. So there are not any sponsors on this video, just being real. Anyways, the struts we're using, TRQ. Anyways, uh, looks like both struts that came in the kit are the same part number. So there's not a right or a left side. So we'll squeeze the new one. No, we'll go ahead and leave this warning sticker on it. Do a jigsaw. But I want to get it down into here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm trying to lower this down for you. There you go. Alright, it's doable. I still didn't have to take the caliper off. Winners for us. So it's in position, I've got the first uh, nut in, so we'll just go ahead and uh, tighten all, tighten all three of these nuts up here. Uh, so I'm gonna tighten them, I'm up pretty, pretty snug my hand. They are lock nuts. So, uh, be right back. So why do you think they changed the boot? All right, so we're gonna use some anti-seize compound. And we're gonna put it on this bolt here. But I'm gonna put it on the shoulder, shoulder of the bolt, uh, in hopes uh, it'll be a, a squeak preventative in the future. We're gonna go ahead and drive this lower link. We're just gonna go ahead and, and raise the lower link and put it back into position, but we're not gonna hook the strut up yet. You have my, oh, here's my hammer. Get your hammer to help you out a little bit. And get your punch. All right, smaller bolt goes on the back linkage. We were trying to do it with the larger bolt that wasn't working. We're scratching our heads going, what the heck? It's a smaller bolt. Uh, if it's fighting you, it's probably for a good reason. Alrighty, and there's the nut. It actually holds itself in. That's pretty sweet. Um, so because of that, 
I'm gonna back that bolt out a little bit. There we go. Well, that's loud. Now we're gonna position the jack underneath the strut and we will compress the strut up so that we can get this aligned. But right now, initially, I'm gonna see here, I think it needs to be twisted just a little bit. Give it some help. All right. That way, it's just compressing the jack and not the linkage. Hold up, hold on. Well, you can have your eyes open. And let's get your punch. Feel like my tag is dead. Get the punch to help the line up. Okay, go ahead. Wait, I got an idea. Go for it. I didn't go see. Yeah. There's not that many. No, but I got my screwdriver in there. Well, actually, it kind of worked out nice because I've actually got my screwdriver in there. Thank you. And I can wiggle it around to compress it compress and position it. it. And now raise it. Oh boy, we're so close. Oh yay, victory. All right, go ahead and lower the jack down. And we'll finish it off here. Oops, that's 30 mil. Do what I gotta do. Third take. And I'll finish it off. All right. So uh, I went ahead, I put anti seize on both bolts on the shoulders of the bolts. Alrighty, this side's done. I'm gonna put the tire on and I'll time lapse the other side.
All right, so we finished changing the struts. We're gonna go for a test ride. We did the bounce test where we jumped in the back of the car to duplicate. We think we've got it. And uh, Sounds pretty quiet. So yeah, it was a struts making that squeaky noise. Of all that linkage that's back there, wow, that's a surprise that, that the strut itself uh, was making the noise. But hey, I figured so once we had our hand on the spring and you could feel the vibration in the spring. Well, anyways, um, that's a wrap. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Press like if you like this video. Thanks. An online repair estimator. It appears um, both rear struts being replaced will run anywhere from uh, 499 to 533. Uh, these struts cost 220, including uh, shipping. Uh, zero for the labor. So doing this yourself, you can save anywhere from 280 to 300 bucks.